Hey everyone, this is Brian from ActiveMelody.com. I wanted to do a real quick little impromptu video, so I apologize for the audio quality. There's a lot of echo in this room, uh, but uh, normally I have a little better setup than this. And in the background, you'll hear a little bell or this crunching sound. It's actually my cat over here eating in the side of the room, so just ignore that. But um, anyway, I'm going to try and do this in one take. Um, so uh, Eric, uh, Jack Bruce died over the weekend, the uh, bass player for Cream. And Eric Clapton posted a response um, to his death. He was his little melody that he wrote, and he recorded about maybe two and a half minutes long. Um, and it has um, has really it's actually kind of a poor audio quality, but it's a nice little melody. Anyway, I posted it on the Active Melody Facebook page earlier today, and I got a lot of people asking me, emailing me, asking me if I could show how to play that. Uh, and I wasn't sure at first if I, if that would make sense, but as I listened to it, I thought, you know, that would be a nice little, uh, make for a nice little lesson, and there's, I don't think there's any copyrights on it at this point, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, so I listened to it and I broke it down, and I'm going to show you how to play the chords that he's playing. He's actually doing a, a rhythm and a lead part, but I'm just going to show you the rhythm part. That's really the meat of it anyway, it's picking apart the chords. So um, one other thing to uh, mention, his guitar is slightly out of tune, so when you listen to his version of it, uh, you'll notice that, that. So he's a little bit flat. So you uh, just might have to adjust your guitar. Um, uh, and if and so I'll link to that uh, no, I'm, wherever you're looking at this video. If you're on Facebook, there'll be a link uh, on in the comments. Or if you're on YouTube, there'll be a link in the description. So somewhere on the page that you're looking at this on, there'll be a link to his original version. So you can play along with him or at least hear how he did it. So let me go ahead and break it down and show you how, how it sounds and then I'll show you how to do it. So here we go. a little stumble in there but you get the gist of it so okay let's go through the chords the first chord is a B seventh chord and let me show you how I'm playing that um, there's two ways you can do a B seventh down in first position you can play it like this or you can add your pinky on the, the second fret first string I'm just playing it like this so I've got my middle finger on the second fret uh, fifth string pointer finger on the first fret fourth string ring finger on the second fret third string and the way that I'm, so that's the fretting, and the way that I'm playing it with the right hand, you can do this with a pick or finger style, but I'm going to show you finger style, so if you're more comfortable with a pick, you can do this with a pick. But I'm just playing 5, 4, 3, 2. Those are the string numbers. 5, 4, 3, 2. So you just repeat that over and over again. And then he plays an E7 chord. Now there's several ways you can do an E 7th chord down in first position, but here's how he's doing it. Just make a normal E chord, I'm assuming you know how to do that, and take away your ring finger. So you just have these two fingers down on the fretboard. And the strings you're going to play with the right hand are 6, 4, 3, and 2. And you're going to repeat those. 6, 4, 3, 2. So that's really the kind of the rhythm, if you are uh, the uh, the verse in this. So it's just a, a repetition of those two. So you do two of the B7 and then two of the E7 like this. One other thing to point out is I keep my middle finger down the whole time. It doesn't need to leave. Watch it. You can see the other fingers move around it, but the middle finger stays down the whole time. So that's kind of the uh, the verse part. Now he goes into uh, it's kind of where the melody kicks in. It goes he go, and he's playing a B chord, just a B major chord. Now the way I do it is I use my pinky. Now a lot of people use their ring finger for this, but I bar the second fret with my uh, pointer finger and then I take my pinky you may want to use your ring finger, it just depends on how you play this type of chord. But I use my pinky to bar the first four strings on the fourth fret. 
And so the, what I'm doing there is I'm playing strings five, four, three, and two when I do that. So I'm not playing the six and I'm not playing the one. Now I keep my pinky down or your ring, well, this is why, actually this is why I use my pinky uh, because I'm able to come up here and use my ring finger to play the fourth fret sixth string. So see how the, the pinky stays down? Now had you been using your ring finger, you'd have to use your middle finger for that. That might be a little more of a stretch for you, but that's up to you. But the point is, is to keep this bar down uh, on the fourth fret and then, put, and then push down on the sixth string on the fourth fret so that you're playing. So when you play them together, you're gonna play, the first time through, you're gonna play five, four, three, and two. Then you're gonna play six, four, three, and two. Now we're going to play an A chord. That's just a plain A chord. I think in the intro I played the A chord like this where I played, um, and if you're doing this finger style you can play strings 5 and 1 at the same time. And then you're going to pick 4, 3, 2. So if you're using a pick you can just pick them apart like strum it like that. It just depends on how you're doing it. So we have Now we're going to play this This is actually really easy to do because all you're doing is literally just a bar across the second fret. And you're going to play string, make sure your thumb if you're playing finger style that your thumb is on the 6th string and you so you're playing string 6, 4, 3 and 2. Notice when I did that, I played strings six and two at the same time to start it. So it's six and two, then four, three, two. So backing up, we have. Now we're gonna play a, it's really a G chord, but I'm not doing a full G chord. I'm taking my ring finger and playing on the third fret uh, sixth string and I'm using my pinky on the 3rd fret 2nd string and we're going to play strings 6 and 2 at the same time again and then we're going to play 4, 3, 2 so now watch this, there's going to be a walk down here see what I did? I just took my ring finger on the 3rd fret 6th string then I switched and played my used my middle finger on the 2nd fret 6th string Okay, so backing up we have. And then we come back to that E seventh chord just like I showed you in the intro. And again we're playing strings two and six at the same time. And then four, three, two. So it's that same little pattern. Two and six, four, three, two, two and six, four, three, two. Okay, backing up, we have. And then he, to get sort of the turnaround to get back, he plays the A again, the A chord there. And I'm, I can't really tell because there's two guitars going on at the same time. I think it's like more of an A seventh. That's how I did it in the intro. So I just played. Uh, my, my, I uh, played the second fret, second string, and then the second fret, fourth string, like that. Only playing strings five, four, three, and two in the middle. And then it just goes right back. And the only difference is this second time through, once you get to the G. Now this time I'm not using my pinky on the G, I'm just using, I'm literally just pushing those two down. Um, and, and by the way, you don't even really need that middle finger now that I think about it, which is the 2nd fret 5th string. You, you really just need the 6th, or the 3rd fret 6th string. That's all I'm really using. I'm just, out of habit, I'm used to making a G chord like that, but that's all I'm really fretting. 
Um, so let me go through. Um, I lost my place. So once we get to the G, let, let me let me back up. This is the second time through. Then we go to the A seventh again. And then that puts us right back in position to do the B7. Okay, so putting the two parts together, let me play through, um, actually let me play through the whole thing. We've got it this time. So here we go. I'll do it slowly. really all there is to it. Uh, there's a little lead part which um, I was going to try and break down but I think it gets too complicated to show that and really you need then you need a jam track and, and so forth. So so download Eric's version and see if you can play along with him and, um, and uh, that's all I've got. Thanks.